All right, Paul, there's one elephant in the room, though, that we haven't talked about. What about a space elevator? Surely that has to be cheaper and more effective, right? So now we're looking far future. Okay. Uh, I'm I not expecting to see one of these <laughs> in my lifetime. So probably the safe of course of filming, this isn't going to pop up. Uh, but the basic idea is what is, let, what would be the ideal way to get things into, let's say, a geostationary orbit? And in principle, here's a geostationary orbit. So here's the spacecraft going around. If you remember, yep. it goes around the Earth. It's a long way out. Um, 36,000 kilometers out yep. um, and at that distance it goes around once every 24 hours so it's so it relative to be always to, yes. over the point of the earth that's right and the idea is what happens if you're in a geostationary satellite you just let out a piece of rope and dangle it all the way down to the earth yeah then you, you bolt it down at the earth and then uh, use it to climb up into space and that's the concept of a space elevator. Of course, it wouldn't be a piece of rope. It would be something uh, much stronger. Carbon nanotubes or something. Because it's going to be 30,000 30, kilometers long. <laughs> um, and then you have elevators that run up and down. And you need a counterweight, so you need something that goes out the other side that's to hold right. the whole thing. So this, in principle, is wonderful because you just need to over just need an elevator to take you up there. That's right, and you're not using chemical fuels, you're not using a nuclear reactor, so in some sense it's kind of renewable? Yes, it is renewable. Uh, I'm assuming where you get your electricity from, of course. Yes. Uh, but it's going to be far more efficient than any rocket could be, and the That's best right. rockets waste a lot of their fuel pushing fuel around, whereas yep. this thing is just going up and down an elevator track. Wonderful, right? Why don't we build one? <laughs> I mean, the trouble is, I mean, just think of the biggest civil engineering features <laughs> in human time. Yeah. 30,000 kilometers long. Uh, but the other trouble is this cable has to be able to support its own weight. That's right. And you can do this calculation. In fact, I make my first year physics students do this calculation. And it turns out that, let's say you just dangled a piece of rope. Yep. You can probably, there's, there's going to be a certain length beyond which the weight is going to rip the rope itself, its okay. weight itself. And th that'll be, for, for 100 kilometers for a really good piece of nylon rope is a feasible. Yep. But it turns out there is no substance that we can build ropes out of on Earth at the moment which is strong enough to support even its own weight, okay. let alone anything else. Let alone an elevator. Let alone an elevator. Now that's anything that can be built on large scale. So okay. we're talking about people who think like spider silk or aramid Kevlar. Yeah. Um, the, the best things are things like these synthetic yeah. cables that are used in bulletproof vests. But Not 36,000 kilometers of them. Yep. Now there are things like carbon nanotubes. At the moment you can only make them like millimeter in length. So scaling up from a millimeter to 36,000 kilometers is a big engineering task. Yep. But in principle you could be able to build some, I don't think anyone thinks you can actually make carbon nanotubes that long, but maybe you can put them into some sort of composite structure. Yep. Um, and so first of all, there's a material science problem. Oh, yep. And then there's a mother of all civil engineering problems. But I think you know, 500 years from now, if there's colonies in space, this is going to be the best way to get to them. And by that point, there might be a big enough space economy to make it worthwhile. Mm. Do I think it happened in my lifetime or even your <laughs> lifetime, you youngster? So, so no. it's, it's <laughs> one of those things where, yeah, maybe, but the technology is just so far ahead of what we need it to be. It's not going to really happen. Maybe worth a bit of looking at, um, but I don't think it's going to be happening anytime soon. But mm. definitely good for your science fiction movies.